One of my popular pastimes is reading up on successful people, watching documentaries on them, or just listening to their stories. And I can assure you, one of the things I hardly hear them say is making excuses. Welcome to Times of Refreshing. I'm your host, Tonya Conley. Hope you are doing great and I hope you are keeping safe. How is it going with you concerning your plans, your goals, and your resolution for this year? I want to encourage you. For you to be able to achieve all that you set out to achieve this year, you must do away with excuses. Excuses is always born out of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of what if I fail. Fear of this is new. Fear of change. Fear of what people will say. Fear of the fact that I've done it before I failed. Fear of other people who have done the same thing and have failed. But those are just ways that excuses come. You and I must make up our mind that this year we will do away with excuses. Because the best that excuses will get us is nothing. Excuses actually will kill a person's potential. Excuses will not make us move forward in what we have planned to do this year. Excuses will not make us take steps of faith to do those things that we could have easily done and achieved. Excuses will make anyone get stuck in the rut. That is why I want to encourage you this year. It has to be a year of no excuse for you and I. We must go after what we have planned to do. If even we failed in it before, all we need to do is to check it out, see why we failed, and begin to redo it so that we can succeed in it. Excuses are everywhere, but what can we do about excuses? The first thing I want to encourage you is to stop procrastinating. Do what you need to do at the right time. The moment we give ourselves excuses to procrastinate, we keep postponing and keep putting that, those things off. Because when we give excuses, we are rationalizing our behavior. We are given a reason for not doing what we're supposed to do at the time we are supposed to do it. So put away procrastination, do what you need to do in good time. The second thing I want to advise is that don't dwell on the problem. Many times when people give excuses not to do things, it's because they dwell on the, on the problem. Oh, somebody else failed in it. Yes, somebody else could have failed in it, or you failed in it before. That is the problem. What would be the solution? Look for what would actually bring a solution to the problem at hand and not just discount it, disregard it and say, oh, that's a problem. Most people are successful in life. They are problem solvers. When you have a pro when there is a problem you can solve in this world we live in, honestly, you become rich, you become successful. Don't get me wrong. I'm not equating rich riches only to success. Success is it's very broad and it's not only in riches. Another thing I want to advise you is that have a positive attitude to things. There are so many people that I've met in life. They talk shabbily about some things with a negative attitude. They run down other people's ideas just because their own attitude is wrong. You must always have a positive attitude to life. Yes, things might be difficult, but if you make up your mind that you are going to do it, you will do it. You must think outside the box. You must be able to see with the eyes of faith. Those who are boxed in would always have ex excuses not to take steps towards what they want to achieve. So I want to encourage you again. Have a positive attitude to everything in life. Even when it doesn't work out, you will know that you have tried your best. But don't have a negative attitude because it will make you give an excuse for not trying it out at all. And also, I want to say, surround yourself with the right people. There are so many naysayers. There are so many people who will discourage you. They will tell you those who have done it before. They will tell you those who are better than you and they've done it before and they failed. And they will make you feel like if those ones have done it before and they failed, how can you succeed in it? Those are excuses. 
even when they cite examples of those who have failed before, you must still know that you are unique. And that means where others have failed, you can succeed. Surround yourself with people who will say, even though other people fail, you can do it. Surround yourself with people who will push you on and say, don't worry. You fail this time, try it again, you can succeed. Excuses would always be there. Excuses are all around us. But you must make up your mind that this year and all the rest of your lives, you will not make excuses. Because when you do not make excuses, you'll be able to step out. You'll be able to go after what you want and you will succeed in it. Once again, I want to say thank you for staying tuned. Remember to share this broadcast with somebody. Remember to follow us. Remember to like our pages. And remember to always tell somebody about Times of Refreshing. Until next time on Times of Refreshing, I'm your host, Tony Akole. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.